get cleaned up while I wait for Kathy to lab in because we are going to be making some jewelry next. And um, I don't believe that involves a bow and arrow. I am so psyched about showing my kid about this. He probably won't be as excited about the jewelry, but I am. So Kathy, Crafty Chica is joining me now. <gasps> oh! How are you? How are you? Oh my God. Oh my God. You're already, you're already What's that? My chihuahuas my chihuahua are already dark. Already dark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> am, am I okay? Am I okay? Am I okay? A little bit, but it might be just me. I don't know. What does everyone else think? Anyone have a comment? How does, how does. Without headphones? Echo. Yeah, there's an echo. Okay, I'll put it back in. Okay, hopefully that's better. Yeah, that sounds good to okay, me. Okay, good. So I am showing, um, my daughter's going to join. She's going to show my work table area and her account is Maya in the moment. So she's going to join that open seat. Uh, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, let me grab her. She's okay. just popping in here. Maya in the moment. Yes. <laughs> How do you flip it around? Okay, there you go. Oh, there so, whoops. So these are the, the earrings, these up here, these paper earrings. So it's the holiday season and we have a lot of things to give and make and it's just so fun to share our creativity. And this has been one of my favorite go-to low cost projects to make for years. And it, it's just from watercolor paper. And a long time ago, when my husband and I were first starting our business, we used one pad of watercolor paper and acrylic paints to make a whole bunch of earrings. And we would put them on a canvas board like this. Can you pull back just a tiny bit? And we would sell the whole board of earrings to a jewelry store or a boutique. And they're just so easy to make because you can either make them to resell like at a craft show or to a boutique. Or what I like to do is package them in little cello bags and then you can give them away as gifts. And so I'm wearing, so yeah. And so here's a little pair of Christmas tree earrings that, oh, this one fell off because I put my headphones on. But it all just comes from watercolor paper. I mean, all you need, you know, is some imagination, a sheet of watercolor paper, and, and I'll show you how easy they are to make. So the okay, first, I've got my watercolor paper okay. here. And what I usually do is start with a puncher like this. So you can use, if you don't have a die cut machine where you can punch a whole bunch of them out, then you could just use a punch like this. If you want to be super efficient, you can take your watercolor paper and spray paint both sides of it before you do the punching. And that oh, way- no, I Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Where did I put my punches? They're big, but they're hard to uh, not see. One moment, please. Okay. Let me go down. Hello, buddy. Yeah. Merry Christmas. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> Hope you are yeah. being super crafty this season. Okay, I definitely don't see them. One second. I did the I'm same thing today. I have my punches in a bin and it was at the very bottom of my stack in my closet. Well, I had them in my hands today and I said, oh, I might need these. And now I don't see them. Maybe I can get, uh, where are you? Maybe if I sing to them, they'll appear. You can use, you can just use scissors too. I mean, you, you can put any shape that you want. So here's something else you could do. Okay, so I told you how you can um, take your watercolor paper and spray paint both sides of it. That will save time. And what I'll do is I'll do like green up here, red right here on the other side. I'll do purple here and yellow here. And that way um, I have just all of my base coating done already. So it's pretty fast. 
but for this one, I'll just show you on white. So here's something else you can do. I'm gonna spray paint some color. Okay. And then I'm gonna cut it out while you okay. you're so sharing all the say for example, you don't want to use a punch. This is another idea. I have these little mini cookie cutters, and this is a great kids project because you can trace the cookie cutters and use those either as earrings or as ornaments. I use the tree to make these tree earrings. And I simply just traced it onto the watercolor paper. And let me find a little tree and pencil, pencil, just like this. Oh, I love it. That is such a good idea. Yeah. And then, you know what I did from here once I cut it out? And you, again, you can um, you can paint it ahead of time, or you can just take a colored marker and just color over it that way, and then cut it out. And oh. Grab my scissors. Oops. OK, so here, I'll show you. Here's. So you can see this one I colored with the marker and then I coated it with some Mod Podge or any kind of decoupage medium. And then I just poured glitter over it and then outlined it with the red paint and boom, oh, so so it can be an earring or an ornament and it's just made from cookie cutters. So that is super easy. I mean, imagine if you need to keep your kids busy, you could just have them outline all these cookie cutters on sheets and then cut them all out and that will keep them busy for a while. Okay, but that would right? Be <laughs> all fun little shapes. Yes. So for this set of earrings, I thought I would totally multitask. Here in Phoenix, we have the um, Frida Kahlo photo exhibit in Phoenix. And oh, so yeah. I'm, I'm making stuff for the museum store. So everything Frida Kahlo. So I'm going to make some Frida Kahlo earrings. That's what these are that I oh. showed you earlier. These right here and all of these. So I'm going to make a pair of Frida earrings, but you can use whatever images you want. You can go on Etsy and just look for, um, type in whatever theme that you want and look for bottle cap images. And you will see a whole bunch of them come up and you can get a sheet like this for like three or $4. And then you can, you know, print it out and then use it for your projects. So here I'm gonna take my punch with the watercolor paper. I'm just going to punch that out. So I'm gonna punch out a whole bunch of these. After that, just for the sake of dry time, I already pre-painted some of these red. So I just took some craft paint. Uh, there's like glitter and paint everywhere here. That's fun though. <laughs> okay, and this That's is this day. is my technique for applying paint. I just put it onto the tip of my finger and then I just scrape it around. Oh, that is so smart. And then I that can so and then I can wipe it like on my um towel or on my apron and it makes things go a lot faster than using a paintbrush. Sometimes I'll use the end of a paintbrush, but for the most part I just use my finger. My daughter's laughing at me right now. Okay, so here are some that are finished. Oh, yeah. Very smart. <laughs> and then I have this smaller punch. So for this one, I'm going to use to cut out the pictures. And let me trim this a little. I loved that bow and arrow project. That was so cool. That was super neat. I've never done oh anything gosh. like that before. How fun. Yeah. I do. It's fun to make stuff and to make something that you can just just do in nature and not have really anything but really nice. Yeah. It's awesome. So here are my two little pictures that I punched out. And now I'm going to use my glue stick. 
So you can see it's it's going pretty fast. I mean, you I have made like two dozen of these in just a couple hours because once you get you know a system down a little assembly line and now I'm going to just place it in the center of the circle like that. And then there's this one I'm going to place in the center of this one. And then I'm going to add some, oh, um, is this how a question is asked? Yes. Someone's asking if this <laughs> is. Ask away. We're yes. making jewelry out of um, well, paint and glue and um, watercolor paper. So now I want to add, there's different ways you could go. I could do dots. I'll, I'll just show you um, one of each. So for this one, I'm going to add some glittered dots. So I'm going to use some 3D adhesive. And this is just mm -hmm. adhesive that dries dimensional. And oh, yeah. I'm just going to put little dots all the way around. You can also use um, white craft glue just as long as it's in a skinny tip that, that so that it gives a little bubble. Because you're looking for that three-dimensional yes. quality. You want, you want that to happen. Sometimes that happens with glue and you're like, no, I want it to be flat, yes. but this is oh. one of those times flat is not good. So I'm just using a, if this one is actually a glass writer, but anything will work, any kind of dimensional. So now I'm going to pour the glitter over it. And I think I was saying that earlier today too. It's, I think everybody that has participated and participating in this DIY con today on Blab is, you know, we all play. We all yeah. like, that's what the package says to do. But we the take it our part, own way. <laughs> Yeah, you just have to you play for a while and then you figure something out. You're like, that's the coolest thing ever. I had no idea that could be done that way. But you don't know until you try. Right. So there's that one. And I'm just going to let that dry. So that's one technique you can do. So another way that you can decorate it. Let's see, where did that other one go that I just did? One of my downfalls is... <laughs> As I'm working, my stuff bounces like all over the place. Okay, so then I will also take some paint and just use paint. And to add the design, I like to use these little head pins because it's um, it's more refined than using a paintbrush because I like to make little spirals. So I'm just going to pick up the paint on the head pin and I'm just going to drag it around like this and this is going to give it some nice color and again I'm doing this on the white paper but if it's paper that you've colored then once it's all done you could add gloss varnish over it and it'll be nice and shiny and pretty that's the magic of using something like gloss yes. it makes anything it just very looks so finished very, and then it preserves it too yes. so you wear your earrings in the rain so then here's this one so you can see when and what i did last time i did different pictures even though if, um they i did some like maybe facing each other or the, just as long as the color story was the same Oh, thank you. <laughs> as long as the color story was the same, I could mix and match the images. And then I put them on the board and it was fun to see people just kind of, you know, pick and choose whatever, whatever set that they wanted because they all matched. I love that. Yes. And so I'm going totally off. Like when I didn't have my punches, I totally just changed exactly what I'm doing. And so, let me see. Let me see. I love to see. I'm not all quite the ready yet for for a big reveal, but I'm like, so I can't have a beautiful punch like you. <laughs> so I'm trying to make, and if it works out, I'm doing this really fast, so I'm not like as exact as I'd like to be. 
But I want to make little Christmas box earrings. Oh, how cute. Yes. So like I made a little box, like made a little box. Yes, I um, love that. Paper. So I painted the watercolor paper yeah. and now I'm That's great because you know what? I mean, watercolor paper, it's so thick and sturdy. It looks so pretty once you paint on it. You can take your scraps and use them for dimensional pieces on your greeting cards or use them in your journal. There's just so many things you can do with them. And I always, um, even though we've been doing this for so long, I always feel like going back to making watercolor paper earrings is like back to my roots. You know, that's how we started. Like we needed to pay an electric bill and we just use watercolor paper earrings because the true um, value is in your talent. It's not in the price of your supplies. It's in your talent and your creativity and what you do with it. And I think a lot of times it's, um, it's hard in crafting. We get so caught up with all of the exciting supplies and tools that come out on the market. And it's easy to get overwhelmed and really you know what it's just cool sometimes to go back to basics where you have a sheet of watercolor paper scissors markers and your imagination that is such a great point it is true your imagination is everything yes. and then so these i'll show you some other earrings like i work a lot with clay so these earrings were just scrap pieces of clay uh, this is um, ceramic clay that I fired in the kiln, but you could also use it with polymer clay. And instead of just rolling it in a ball and throwing it away, I use every little bit that I can. And I just made these little hearts and then poked a hole in them and fired them that way. And then these earrings, this is actually hot glue. So I had all of this um, glittered, these glittered hot glue sticks and a friend gave me a big box of red glittered hot glue sticks and i just could not get rid of them no matter how much i use them so i started you use a silicone mat and you just draw designs on it let it cool and peel it off so i made these little picture earrings out of hot glue so, so that, super smart yes and it's just using stuff that you already have on hand and then these um I used, I found a rolling pin that had little skulls indented in it. So I rolled the clay with the little skull rolling pin and I made clay earrings out of that. So, I mean, we can make earrings out of anything, right? Yes, I think so. I think. Oh, here's the, here's the clay roller that I use. It has the little skulls on it. Is that cool? And I got this on Etsy. So that was that pretty adorable <laughs> oh my gosh i didn't even know something like that could exist i know right <laughs> so those are I my watercolor paper earrings oh look here's these oh another tip that i forgot to mention is yeah. um at, before you glaze your earrings because the final step is you want to use a water-based glossy varnish then what you want to do first is poke a hole in them for your earrings because it gets a little bit tough to poke the hole in it once the varnish is there, it's, it's just very flexible. But what's cool about these earrings is they're light and they're easy to make and you can, they're very plentiful. And if you do the cookie cutter thing, you can make them as ornaments also. Oh, so that's there's such a lot a good of different idea. things you can do with them. You can use them as ornaments yes. and that's a super cute thing because Gosh, you know, sometimes sometimes you end up with a tree that's way bigger than you're used yes. to, and then you decorate it. And I've done the thing where I've I've literally taken construction paper and made ornaments just yes, with just to fill, just to fill. Yes, and you know it's funny. Like I have big hair. I have really big hair, so I have to wear bigger earrings so you can see them. So sometimes my earrings can totally double as Christmas tree ornaments. Oh my gosh. <laughs> or sometimes yeah. the ornaments can double as earrings. <laughs> right. Okay, so I'm I don't know if these are actually let me see. I'm trying to make a Christmas present. It's looking cool. I can see it in your camera there. Drawing. 
I'm trying. I think I might have done it in the wrong direction. Let me do the other direction. I, I, oh, I hooked it in the wrong direction for the bow. Yeah, it should hook that way. Okay, this isn't the best crafting ever. <laughs> I, uh, in, in high school, I went to an engineering program, and one of one of the things that we had to do is make little little like three dimensional paper things. And um, that teacher would probably say my craft on this was not a work, but the intention is there. She'd probably be proud of you. <gasps> Yay, you did it! I'm gonna totally put it on too. I know this is awesome. No, so this is not what you intended whatsoever. But yes, for me that's the the beauty of it is that you you it forces you to do something that you wouldn't normally think of. And you did force me to do something, and I got frustrated. I didn't have the exact thing I wanted. It was and so, to be. Oh, those are so cute. Let me see. I don't know if it's stuck totally in right. Okay, okay, get in there, earring. Get in there. Come on. Come on, kitty. Come on, kitty. <laughs> I know. I'm trying not to make it fall apart while I'm putting it on. And wouldn't that be cute? <laughs> like some glitter on there or some little gems. I just need glitter. Do you need glitter on you? Oh, it's it doesn't need glitter yet, it says. It just wants to be an earring. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, how cute! Oh, I love it. <laughs> that is so awesome. You, oh my god, that's adorable! You have I can make share that. Color. How you did that? Because I totally oh, take god. care of those. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is so fun! And I have my like, I have my my big bling bag. Yeah. I could totally, you know. Yes. Or even like those little that. tiny micro crystals, you could put some of those on. I could. That's a great idea too. You, I mean, I think you are just an explosion of awesome <laughs> ideas. No wonder you have so many fans oh, too. Well, that goes vice versa. I love all the things that you guys do. And I just so creative and so fun. So it's just is, so fun to get to know you doing these blabs. It's, I mean, thank you for inviting me. Maya, though, is she just in the moment or she can, does she have a face too? If she's not in the moment at the moment. <laughs> she's just my camera person. Hi. <laughs> oh, you can't say hi. Can I just turn no, it a little bit? No, oh, no you That's don't. That's okay. Not everyone likes to be on camera. That's okay. totally. I'm going to pop in and say hi. Oh. There she is. <laughs> you are cute. Why are you shy? You're adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, this is really super fun. Thank you. Oh, because thank you. This is not, without you, I would not have a present hanging from me. And you know what is so funny is our whole family got hit by the stomach flu this weekend, this past week. And all weekend, I'm like, I have to be ready for Tuesday. I have to be ready by Tuesday. And today I was I was in bed and I'm like, it's Tuesday. This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. So if I if I seem low energy, that's why. But I've been looking forward to it all this time. So thank you for inviting me. Okay, Kathy, you just made like 17 pairs of earrings in five seconds. <laughs> I made one. I think that like if you literally had the stomach flu right now you would still want to outcraft me it doesn't no, no i like i want fair. i want the tutorial for those box series those are so cute really? and you know what oh my gosh you know what would be really cool is to get these earrings and your earrings put them on a little another piece of watercolor paper and make that an ornament, like a gift. So people, you can give it to them and they can take it off the tree and then put them on. Or maybe the, oh the card my. that holds them is it like a heart, a painted heart or something. So when you take off the earrings, it's still an ornament for the tree. So they're like cool, you know, like two in one kind of ornament earrings. Yeah. Gift and a gift, and, a gift yeah. and a gift. I am out of my court. I think this is absolutely, I'm psyched. Like, thank you so much. You and Kathy and Maya, thank you for peeking Aww. in. I really appreciate your effort of like actually peeking in. I know it was not your, your thing. <laughs> <laughs> 
but you've done good, great camera work. Thank you so much. And I am going to bounce right now. Crafty Chica, Maya in the moment. Thank you for joining us. And I just made a present earring. I'm pretty psyched. Now, Kathy is like the, she's like the glitter goddess, I guess. I mean, she does all kinds of amazing things. And if you don't follow her already on every social network, you should, if you like crafting and making things and just having a good time. 